Converge or diverge, sigma as n goes from 1 to infinity, n squared times 2 to the n minus 1 power, over, parentheses, negative 5 to the nth power. We see we have the n in the exponent here and here. So maybe we can use the root test, right? But if you take the nth root of n squared, you will end up with n to the 2 over n power. Let's avoid that situation. So I would like to use the ratio test in this situation. Okay, and also let me make a remark. If we didn't have the n squared part right here, we can also do geometric series for this part. But unfortunately, the n squared is right there. So perhaps let me just work out the ratio test for you guys. So this right here, let me just kind of indicate that we are going to use the ratio test. Okay, and this is how it goes. We will first check the limit. So let me put down check as n goes to infinity and we are going to compare the ratio of what and what the next term and the current term namely we have to look at a n plus 1 over a n and we do have to have the absolute value but then the easier way to set up this is look at this as the following this is the same as saying absolute value a n plus 1 times Instead of looking at this as dividing by a n, we can look at this as multiplying by the reciprocal of the a n. Okay? And now let me put this in action for you guys. Let me write down the a n plus 1 first. This is the a n. For a n plus 1, we're just going to look at all the n's right here, replace them with n plus 1. Let me open the absolute value first. And then we see right here, we have the n square, and now it becomes n plus 1. And then I will square that. For this right here, we have 2 to the n minus 1. I will replace this n with n plus 1. So we get 2, and then we have n plus 1, and then at the end, we have the minus 1. Over in the denominator, we have negative 5. This n becomes n plus 1, like that. So that's a n plus 1 right here, and then we multiply by the reciprocal of the original. So we'll take this, flip it, put it here. So we multiply by, this will be on the top now. Negative 5 in the parentheses to the nth power over this, which is n squared times 2 to the n minus 1 power. And now what can we do next? Well, let's simplify this part first. Um, if you want to do this part first, it's okay. Let's see. This is negative 5 to the n plus 1 power, which is the same as negative 5 to the nth power times negative 5 to the first power. And when you break them apart, you see this and that will cancel. Okay, so we are making progress. Maybe I can also fix this for you guys. This is 2 to the n plus 1 minus 1. You know the plus 1 minus 1 is just 0, so you have 2 to the n right here. But then, I can also look at this part here. This is 2 to the n minus 1 power. I can break this apart as 2 to the n times 2 to the negative 1. So I can cancel this 2 to the n with that 2 to the n. So that's pretty much all the cancellation we can do. And now let's put down all the things that we have left. What's on the top? This right here is 2 to the negative 1 power in the denominator. So in fact, we have to bring this to the top. So let me put down that 2 first. And then we have this, which is the parentheses n plus 1 to the second power. What's on the bottom? We have this negative 5. And then we have this n squared. Okay? And then we still have the absolute value. And now I think we should take care of the absolute value. The absolute value will make this negative disappear, right? So we can say this is the same as 2 times parentheses n plus 1 square over 5n square. And then, remember, we are taking the limit. All this right here is just algebra. As n goes to infinity, this is just a polynomial of a polynomial, right? On the top, what's the highest degree? You see, this is n plus 1 square, so this is the same as saying n squared plus 2n plus 1 if you multiply this out. 
and then you have this two right here, right? So on the top, what you care about is after you distribute the two into the parentheses, you will care about the highest power, which is the two times n squared. And on the bottom, you have this, phi n squared. All right, as n goes to infinity, you only care about 2n squared on the top over phi n squared. Of course, the limit of this is just 2 over phi. Whew, we did the limit. And now we have the answer, which is 2 over phi. This is not enough. You have to tell me. We are doing the ratio test, right? You have to tell me this limit, 2 over phi, is less than 1. So now, what's the conclusion? Because the limit right here is less than 1, we know this series converges. And now we'll just write down the conclusion right here. We are going to conclude the original series, n goes from 1 to infinity, n squared 2 to the n minus 1 power over negative 5 to the n power. This right here converges by the ratio test. That's it.